So, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones's former editor has come out and trashed him as a Trump sellout who plays the race and religion card for business. What? I am... (laughs) Matt, I am just... I'm shocked. Kurt Nimno was a longtime former editor for Infowars.com. Has been who has been he has been uh, publicly trashing his ex boss as a snake oil salesman. Oh my gosh! I no longer work for the Trump branch office in Austin. He Whoa, tweeted uh, back in November. This is Court Nimno at that time. What's Nimmo. Nimmo. Nim Nimrod. Wow. Throwing it down. And he goes on to say, um, Alex Jones follows the money. They're alt-right neocons. Yep. <laughs> and it's great. There you point. go. Uh, now, this guy says that Alex Jones is just simply in the bag for, for Donald Trump. Who knows if he got funding from Donald Trump or what. Um, but how could you look at this video by Alex Jones and assume that he in any way has lost the journalistic integrity that he never, ever had? I give you Alex Jones um, doing his best performance he can muster for his daddy, Donald Trump. You know, I've admired Ron Paul and known him and a friend, I guess, for 20 years. I've been interviewing him, 21 years. Maybe friends the last 10. But it's not the same as it is with Trump. Trump is so fire-breathing, so energetic, so cunning so real and he's having results so amazing that it just makes me be endeared to trump i'm ready to die for trump at this point and i'm already ready to die for america it's the same feeling i have for america because he is america you're america it's the same way i get endeared to people i know that have fought hard and lost legs or arms for this country and just how hard working and good they are now compared to the average person who's lazy and doesn't care i i i just I just feel humble to be around those type of people because I study policy. I'm a policy wonk. Hold on. Stop it. Wait a second. He's a policy wonk? Hmm. He's read the documents. He's read I'm, I'm all a policy of the wonk. The difference, between, the difference between Donald Trump and Ron Paul on policy, I would imagine rather large gulf between them. But I'm a policy wonk. Well, I mean, we both have the right idea about the Jews, but I mean, Donald's just all sort of kind of crazy, a little arrogant, a little weird. I mean, I'll just need if we could just get the gold vaults out of the Jewish synagogues, then we could have a nice country living again. But I've looked into the policy of making America great again, and that's it makes America great. Hardworking and good they are now compared to the average person who's lazy and doesn't care. I, I, I just, I just feel humble to be around those type of people. Because I study policy. I'm a policy wonk. And I know that Trump and Bannon really know what are ha- what's happening. They're really trying to cut taxes. They're really trying to get l- loans to small businesses. They're really trying to get us out of carbon taxes and Obamacare. And they're doing it. They're delivering. And it's so well thought out. It's so good. Positive. I've studied it. It's so good. My understanding is that we're now uh, about um, a year off of the schedule from what uh, Donald Trump laid down last week about uh, uh, replacing uh, the Affordable Care Act and cutting taxes. They're really, they're, they're, they're so brilliant in what they did with the taxes because what they're going to do is cut them. It doesn't get better than that. I mean, the plan. It's just, that's the plan. 
I've studied history. I've covered politics for 25 years, 21 on air. And I've never seen anything like this. This is bigger than 1776 if Trump can deliver. And then I see all the news. I've got articles today. Ha ha, there's tens of thousands of bureaucrats that are going to leak everything you're doing militarily and sabotage you. That's called treason. That's executionable. I read the Fay Times. <laughs> and so just about every article uh, reads like that. Like, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, that's in New York the Times. Bureau, New York Times editorial. The bureaucrats page. are going uh -huh. to We're bureaucrats. We're going to leak what Daniel Trump is when doing. He, when he does that voice, I feel like that might be his real voice. I, he does it all the time. What I do is I, 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 I look at the news on my iPhone and I have changed my Siri voice to Paul Lynn. <laughs> my God, it's disturbing. Actually, I would do Siri voice as uh, Ron Paul, Rand Paul. Like, no, no. <laughs> Overshot the exit. Actually, uh, uh, Scott. Uh, from Ring of Fire sent me a video of two New York or Northern guys listening to a GPS with a Southern voice and they can't follow it because it's just like, you couple there down there yonder. And then he gets, does this remind you of anything? And I said, you, when you produce me and Sam. And he's like, exactly. <laughs> hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri subscribe.